unboxing and testing two LED push lights which I got for 155 at Ted Eye. I already opened one of these up. They rotate and then you can open them up. So as you see here, you have to fit this kind of in. And I already had uh, the exact same thing once already. And now we fit in the batteries which were not included. So you could also use your own rechargeable batteries, but of course you would have to buy them first and rechargeable batteries are usually a little bit more expensive. Now I got these lights because the lighting situation in my furnished apartment is somewhat fixed and I could change it if I would get some normal light bulbs, but they usually have a cable attached and I want to have things clean. So now if we press this, we already see it's quite bright. But unfortunately, this is kind of a blue LED light. So this also might mean that you don't want to have it on at night. These also, by the way, would make the videos kind of look cooler if I could just use it like this. I also had the idea to just mount them at the top maybe to, instead of the studio lights I have, light my room or desk much more in on the night in the nights in the evenings but probably the main thing i will install them first i might also get more is my kitchen so my kitchen basically is here in the back and now i will open it up and we will take a look this is how the current normal light in the room looks like but unfortunately i do not very like it so it is kind of nice it has a nice um it has a nice design but unless it's bright outside and I have the windows fully open the kitchen and also other other items in my room are just too dark this means I'm constantly searching for things recently I actually put on a headlamp just in order to see things in here if it's night on the bottom they have this pad which you can take off and which then attaches ideally so maybe this here but maybe in order to preserve it, I will take double-sided tape, which I then can attach and maybe apply multiple times if I change these up or move again. Let's apply it. Of course, this is round and the other one is not, but it doesn't really matter since you cannot see. So now we take off this here, this double-sided tape, and then I will progress or continue to install the lights into my kitchen. In my kitchen now, I think it makes the most sense to have them kind of hidden. And in terms of the depth, it would, I think, make sense to have the sink lit as well as the stove here, which I don't use, but I think in terms of symmetry, it would make sense. So first of all, we try to get this basically above here. Maybe the shadow here doesn't look very optimal. So maybe I put it in front here, which also means when I'm filming and I have it here, for example, that I constantly have shadows. So if I have it in the back more, and of course, there is a different look to it, but I now also do have the shadow. But this look actually is kind of nice. Here, it does not make so much sense, I think. But the stripe on this wood actually looks kind of nice, so I could put it in the back. This looks more like casual, but this looks kind of more like designed. So with a folding meter stick, I now measure, and it seems to... So the sink here in the middle seems to be at about 30, a little bit more actually if we have it perfectly. Perfectly aligned at about 30.5. I then take a pencil and the mark it. And now for some symmetry, I just turn the whole thing around and measure it from the other side. And also mark it at 30.5. And I also do realize that maybe I should clean this here. Now it is worth mentioning that I now cleaned it a bit, but much of it doesn't go off because it's probably fat and other things. So I tried to also get off the soap again after cleaning it, because otherwise the double-sided tape probably won't stick very well. Many people talk about alignment these days. And the question here is um, whether I should have it like this or like this. I think like this is a little nicer. So I will try to have it like this. And also I need to keep in mind that I need to be able to kind of screw it off. And now I need to find the mark, which is here. I also reapplied the mark because otherwise it, <laughs> would have been gone and now I just press a little bit and now the second one so now let's enter the kitchen and we have to find the lights ta -da, ta -da. and the whole kitchen now 
Looks a lot nicer, actually. Another benefit might be that the blue light kind of counters the effect of food, making you uh, more sympa, more para sympathetic. So basically more sleepy and just rest and digest. So usually if you eat food and then you eat more food and more food, this would basically put you more and more into this mode. But by having this light, that actually is a little bit more into the blue, it might keep a, keep you a little bit more alert and turn eating into kind of more of a structured thing compared to just eating because of rest and digesting. There also have been studies where they tested whether good smell, for example, at the kitchen would, would basically increase how well people cleaned their kitchen. So what they had is, I think, a smell similar to what you find in most cleaning products. And just the smell of this would increase basically people's cleanliness. At least that's what I remember. So now also that I have more light in my kitchen, I also can see the dirt a little bit better. 